Guten Tag everyone, how's it going? And welcome back to another episode of Dave in Deutschland, number 14 to be exact. So it's Monday, which means once more we're off on another little adventure, and the inspiration for today's excursion comes in actual fact from my German class. So yes, come Friday afternoon, I have to give a presentation on one of Dresden's famous landmarks, and the one that I got given was the Prusche Terrasse, which awkwardly I didn't know was a landmark until I knew I'd be giving a talk about it. But anyway, enough chit chat, let's hit the road. So ladies and gents, we are now on the western side of the Prusche Terrasse, which as you can see is just a massively long terrace that stretches along the River Elbe, which is just to my right here. And so, as I say, I've got to do a presentation on it. So the main aim of today is to find some some wonderful little things that you wouldn't or, uh, ordinarily pick up on. So let's get going. So we begin today on the Augustusplatz where there are already some uh, quite famous Dresden landmarks. Right here we have the uh, Hofkirche, which is a famous uh, Christian cathedral. Not quite as famous as the Frauenkirche, which is to the left of this shot, about a five minute walk away. And then over there in the distance, we've got the Zemper Oper, which is a really famous opera house. It looks really cool from the outside. I haven't been in yet, but hopefully I'll get the opportunity to do so at least once uh, this year abroad. And naturally on the Augustusplatz is the Augustusbrücke, which simply means the Augustus Bridge. So I've just climbed up these steps, the main terrace now, which have a little bit of history behind them because they weren't actually here when the structure was originally built. They were built about 60 years after when uh, Russian troops invaded and the Russians then decided that the terrace uh, was to be opened to the general public. So I've climbed up there, that's where the terrace begins and we're off in that direction. And from this little corner I've got an absolutely gorgeous view of the River Elbe and its uh, accompanying bankside structures, some governmental buildings over there on the other side of the bank. It offers a wonderful view and that's what the public mainly use it for, uh, to come have a picnic, enjoy the view of the river. Uh, sadly I've come on a wrong day to do this as the weather isn't so great, it's not so bad so you can clearly see everything off in the distance but I think on a sunnier day it would create for a much better view of the river and the structures alongside it. So here we come to this really cool looking building which has got some really nice uh, golden statues on the top of them. They certainly look as if they're cleaned a lot more regularly than the building themselves. But yeah, no, I'm very, I'm very fond of those golden statues. They look very nice in that building. And so a really good view of the two buildings across the river from here. And a cheeky view back along the river from where we've just come from. So this gorgeous little garden can be found right on the eastern side of the Prüllische Terrasse, about 500 meters down the river from where we first began and it just looks um, really nice even in winter where everything looks a little bit dreary but I'm looking forward to coming back again in summer where hopefully I think there'll be some flowers there and it will just be looking a lot nicer with the sun out and all that, a great place to come and have a picnic. And the Brühl part of Brühlische Terrasse is in reference to Count Heinrich von Brühl. So there's your little history lesson for the day. And a memorial statue to Gottfried Zemper. We are now right at the end of the terrace, so there's nothing more to see. You've got the gardens off to your left there. My hands are getting cold now, so time to go back home, methinks. 
Right, so I think I've got enough to talk about now, having done a little bit of Wikipedia research and after today's little excursion, so fingers crossed I get some good marks for it. But other than that, it's time to say goodbye. This has been David, aka The Special Dave, signing out. Until Wednesday, see you then. So, goal number four is to make the absolute most of my final year at university. I know it encompasses only the back end of 2015, but me and my friends have got an awesome apartment sorted out and it's just set up to be to be an incredible year. So, goal number four, make the absolute most of university. It's just a shame that I've got to do some work. And so here we've got a little memorial for Caspar David Friedrich. Who did what? I don't know.